LA Today presents the Schwartzy and Pagana Amazing Motion Picture Interview Show. Now it's ShenanaVision 2D with your hosts, Schwartzy and Pagana. Are you sure there's not anything that you're not telling me? And I'm Pagana, and we are here with very special guest, motion picture director, Mr. Brad Furman. How are you? Please don't speak yet. Now, Mr. Furman is the director of the motion picture, The Lincoln Lawyer, and some others that we've never heard of. So, in the immortal words of the mad Russian, how do you do? I'm good. My first question is, with a name like Furman, how come you don't have more hair? We expected Lon Chaney Jr. from Abbott and Costello meet Dracula. Never mind that question. Swissy, I thought we decided not to ask that question. Oh, no, you decided. Don't do this in front of the guests. No, you don't do this. You guys want me to leave? Are you listening to our private conversation? Can you believe this guy? Unbelievable. Let's move on. Hey, shouldn't we start over? Yeah, we'll just cut that out. Okay, I'll make a note of it. I don't need a note. I got it up in here. I'll remember. So, as you were saying. I, I wasn't saying anything. Well, that's not going to make for a very good interview. Do you have any real questions for me? Let's start with the most obvious one. How come Peter O'Toole was nowhere in this picture? Peter O'Toole? What does he have to do with this movie? That's a really stupid question. Oh, yeah, well, it takes one to know one. And that makes no sense. Well, okay, Mr. Self-Absorbed Motion Picture Director, what do you want to talk about? Well, it's your show. We can talk about whatever you guys want. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Let's talk about The Lincoln Lawyer. Are you aware that legendary director John Ford already made a picture about Abraham Lincoln and his years as a lawyer? It's called Young Mr. Lincoln. Look it up. Guys, my film's not about Abraham. And do you really think that Mr. McConaughey's performance as Abraham Lincoln even comes close to that of legendary Henry Fonda? Guys, my movie's not about Abraham Lincoln. Have you guys even watched my movie? Uh, no. They wouldn't let us in the screening. Yeah, they said we need to have pants. You know, this town is not as liberal as you would think. Can we get back to the movie? Uh, what movie? The Lincoln Lawyer. Oh, the Lincoln Lawyer! <laughs> oh, right, yeah! yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's talk about this movie. Matthew McConaughey plays the Lincoln Lawyer. He works out of the back of his Lincoln Town car, and he catches a really big break representing Ryan Philippe, who plays Beverly Hills rich kid who's accused of attempted rape and assault. Oh, oh, oh. that doesn't sound funny at all. It's not supposed to be. Who dreams of these sick and twisted ideas? It's based off a book by Michael Conley. You made a book out of this movie? No, apparently the book came first this time. Oh, hey, thanks for making the movie. Now I don't have to read a book. <laughs> uh, guys, can we f***ing focus here? Hey, take it easy. It's okay, he's a director. All they do is yell. All right, so, a guy working out of his car, somebody accused of rape and assault. Maybe it's because it reminds me of Schwartz's life, but this film is kind of a downer. Guys, that was just a lead-in. But that's just the beginning? I can't handle much more of this. Yeah, we need some laughs like in that Crystal Skull movie. Why don't you stick around, Junior? I don't know. Why didn't you, Dad? Dad. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I needed that. So now, let's talk some film theory. The great Austin Spielcock once said that the camera is the window to the eye, which is the window to the soul. So it is up to you if you want to shoot your soul at an aperture of 2.8 or not. Is that a question? It's what a question? Did you guys just ask me a question? You don't ask the questions. That's our job. You don't see us making Abraham Lincoln movies. Well, then ask me a question. We just did. What'd you ask? There he goes. Asking questions again. Oh, God. It's such a waste of time. Oh, that's no way to talk about your picture. I wasn't talking about my movie. That's what we brought you here for, to talk about your movie. Yeah, and we still have time to fill, so please, go on. Finally. Anyway, so... Oh, I just thought of a question. Good save, Schwartzy. In this picture, Marissa Tomei lives in L.A. Where does she live in real life? In L.A. Uh, no, no, no. What's her address? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Schwartzy! That's a really inappropriate question. Yes, yeah, Schwartzy, what's wrong with you? We're not here to talk about the unbelievably hot actress name that you fantasize about on a daily basis. For good reason, I might add, we're here to ask him about him. Oh, you're right. So, what's your address? My address? Yeah, we need a place to stay. You don't have a place to stay? Well, not as of this morning. We had to leave because we couldn't get the landlord to raise our rent. Why would you want the landlord to raise your rent? Well, we couldn't raise it. Jazz hands! <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna go. Hey, but wait, we so just much. started! We got a whole lot more questions. About Peter O'Toole. Yeah, we got some ideas we want to pitch in. You want to know what it's like to work with Henry Fonda? Yeah, so guys, be a regular guys, guys. guy. Come on. And stay and talk pictures. Yeah. All right, I'll make you a deal. If you guys start acting professional, respecting me and being courteous to the movie and all those who worked hard on it, myself included, then I will stay and finish your show. But if you're going to continue with these insipid jokes and patty caking one another and acting like idiots, then I'm sorry, I just can't stay. So what's it going to be? Thanks for coming by. The Schwartzy and Pagana Amazing Motion Picture Interview Show!